community. Today I'm here with Sophie, Daniela and Jenny. Sophie is a well-renowned artist in Brisbane and she's here sharing her skill with our Quacky students. What happened was in 2009, a year after I moved to Brisbane, I was walking around Clayfield where I was living and I was picking up seed pods everywhere and it took me back to my childhood on Clarence River. And I had over the years drawn seed pods, but during that time I thought I really want to do a project. I just felt like with a whole lot of climate you know, issues occurring and things changing around the globe, it was time to have much stronger focus for my artwork than previously. Plus I was also working full time as an artist, so I ended up volunteering at the seed lab at the Botanic Garden at Mount Kutha. And that year somebody said to me, do you realise there's a really good residency program in Malaysia should apply? And I thought, wow, thousands, hundreds of people will apply. <laughs> they won't look at me. But, but I became very passionate. I put together a strong program and they actually selected it because they said, look, next year is the International Year of Biodiversity. You're giving a focus to the Seed Lab and its work and its connection to Global Partnership, yeah. which was based at Q Millennium Seed Bank. So I, once I got in there, and once that residency started, I was away. I was just drawing, painting, photographing, doing exhibitions, having interactive sessions with people in the community and so on. So it's great to have you back. I know you were here for our wonderful Year 12 back when they were Year 10s. Yes. Um, Jenny, you've got some wonderful work there that you worked on back in Year 10, and I'm sure um, you know what you'd be able to show between that back in Year 10 and now where you're up to with your artwork. So this is what Sophie wanted us to do as an activity. We were making these little tools out of things we've collected over time and then making ink drawings out of what we see in the seed collections she brought for us. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to incorporate that into my Year 12 exhibition. You're following that, that real passion on, I suppose, so you being here and showing that and, yes. and the expertise and then you being able to jump onto that and keep going. What about yourself, Danielle? Um, after the experiments that we did with Sophie, which were really quick kind of expressionist um, sort of movements, I our next um, project was to talk about our personal symbol. Um, and when I did my symbol, I found that it connected a bit to the, work, the more quick works that I was doing. But looking at your work in the gallery at the moment, which I had the opportunity to look through, you know, and see the different areas that you've been involved in too in your art. And see a bit yes. of indigenous art and a whole heap of other yes. range as well. Yeah, I had a look at the ancient glyphs from around the Minoan culture. And, and I thought, well, actually, language started because people needed to write down the grains that they had collected and the number of cattle they had, things like yeah. that. Very pragmatic. But then you go to another room and there's work from when I was at the Institute for Molecular Bioscience in UQ. It's not just under the microscope, it's actually DNA sequencing and things mm. like that. So a lot of things have fed into the visual and the, the ideas that I have around my project. Yeah. Um, what a great honour to have Sophie here and sharing her wisdom her expertise um, with our Quacky students. I know that each student is engaging and being able to explore their own individual artwork. Thank you very much. Thank so. you. I hope everyone gets to see. It's up for a week. Yeah, great. Awesome.